Today we will discuss the mechanics of recording UV spectra and the presentation of that spectra. Now the commonly used spectrophotometers they will they will record the spectra over the range of 200 to 800 nanometers. From 200 to 400, this is called near ultraviolet, near UV and from 400 to 800, this is called visible region. So, the common ultraviolet spectrometers which are used that will, that will just record the spectra from the range 200 to 800 nanometer. Below 200 nanometers they will not work. For that we will have to use special vacuum techniques. That will be below and equal to 200. We will have to use the vacuum techniques they will be used now these spectrophotometers they will record the spectra on a wavelength scale wavelength scale and this will be in the form of or in milli microns or nanometers So, now what will be the procedure to record the, to record the spectra? Now, compound which is to be studied will be dissolved in the solvent. Now, that solvent should be such that it will not show any absorption at the range compound is dissolved in the solvent and solvent should, uh, should be such that it will not will not absorb in that range for this commonly used solvents are like 95% ethanol then hexane is also used and water can also be used since they will not show any absorption in this range that is from 200 to 800 nanometers. Now compound to be studied will be dissolved in the solvent and now this solution that is compound plus solvent this solution is kept in a quartz cell. We will not use the glass cell because that will also show absorption we will use the part cell since it will not going to absorb in this region the, that is in this range so this is kept in the solution is kept in the quartz cell with one centimeter path length and some of the solvent this is kept in another part cell and that will work like the like the reference cell solvent in other part cell in other part cell this will be your reference cell means we need some reference material to compare this so that will work like the reference cell now when both these cells, that is that quartz cell which contains compound plus solvent and that quartz cell which contains only solvent, they are exposed to the UV radiation, UV visible radiation, <coughs> UV visible radiation. Now, when to study under 200 to 400 nanometer we use 
हाइड्रोजन ड्यूटीरियम हाइड्रोजन ड्यूटीरियम लैंप और हाइड्रोजन डिस्चार्ज लैंप और ड्यूटीरियम डिस्चार्ज लैंप and for studying for studying at 400 to 800 nanometer we need tungsten filament tungsten filament lamp now the spectrometer will going to compare the the radiation amount of radiation that is that is transmitted through the sample with the reference cell and will measure the amount of the radiation absorbed by the study material at the different wavelengths now and when this is recorded this will be in the form of a plot that will be that will be the plot of wavelength versus absorbance like this this side we will have wavelength and this will and this side we will have absorbance now this is absorbance or you can call it molar absorptivity this will show the intensity of the absorption and this side will be the wavelength it may be uh, 200 220 240 and 260 280 whatever and this side we will have zero absorbance and 0.2 absorbance 0.4 0.6 this will depend on the material which we have taken for our study and now we will after that we will going to have plot like this and depending on the material which we are studying and this portion where there will be maximum length that will be called the lambda maximum and this uh, we will uh, we will get this spectra in the form of the broad bands or valleys broad bands or or valleys so this is how the spectra uv spectra is recorded on the chart paper and that's all for the mechanism the the mechanism of recording the uv spectrum